that's uh, relatable. Because intercourse with you is like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. It's like parking a superstar destroyer in a black hole. It's basically trying to satisfy student loan debt with minimum wage. You see where I'm going with this? Proper garden tool. Hi, Droopy Balls. Thanks for your comment, but let's get one thing straight. I am not an object. And since that's such a hard concept for your pea brain to understand, let me break it down for you. Now, this is the definition of an object. Anything that is visible or tangible and is relatively stable in form. Now, the key word here is stable. I am not mentally, physically, or otherwise stable in any way, shape, or form. Therefore, I cannot be considered an object. Actually, sweetie, you can be considered an object because that was a bad definition. Objects can be unstable in form like explosive devices. So no, you can't be considered an orange, for example, because that's relatively stable, but you can be considered a hand grenade full of STDs. You just have to think outside the box. All right, I'm all dressed up. I did my makeup, I did my hair, I've got some pit stains, I've got some Western gear happening, my faves, and I've got my cowboy boots on. I'm going on a date. Yo, hold up. You're going on a date with pit stains? Sweetie, who raised you? I have no hope for this. <laughs> none, none, none. No hope. Yeah, no kidding. But just so you know, men don't like it when you show up on a date smelling like a horse's nutsack. And the fact that you're cackling like the poor woman's version of Kamala Harris doesn't help your cause either. <laughs> <laughs> Can we take a second and talk about this filter? No, sweetie. I'm a man. Discussing filters is for insecure women. And the fact that it perpetuates colonialized beauty standards to the next extreme. And in case you were wondering, she made up those words just so she could have something to complain about. Colored eyes, light skin, rosy cheeks, and very Eurocentric based features. Let me show you how I actually look without this filter. I know, the difference is striking. It's actually an improvement. You should stop using filters. As a woman of color, and in particular, a South Asian woman that grew up in a country that was colonized by the British. Sweetie. What if I told you that Britannia was colonized by the Romans, and then the Saxons? And judging by your accent, you live in North America, so either in a former British colony if you live in the US, or still under the rule of Queen Elizabeth if you live in Canada. So apparently, you don't have a problem with British colonialism if you live in former British colonies. But wait! What if I told you that almost every country on the planet was colonized at some point? France, colonized by the Romans. Spain, colonized by the Romans. Most countries in South America, colonized by the Spanish or Portuguese. China, colonized by the Mongols. My home country of Romania, colonized by the Romans, then the Turks, then the Hungarians, and currently it's colonized by the European Union. You see, sweetie, you are not special. You're actually one of the lucky ones. Now, stop feeling sorry for yourself and go get a job.